Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Wendy, and I love to shop at the Dollar Tree and share the things that I find here on my channel with you guys. So thanks so much for being here, and welcome to my living room. Um, I had talked about it in my last haul that I would be filming in different locations around my house instead of like my normal craft area. Um, and I kind of talked about how I was redoing my craft space and trying to order some furniture, which unfortunately I found out is not going to be available until August. Um, it is from Ikea and they just reopened our stores here. And unfortunately they are already sold out of the furniture that I had picked out to work for my space. So when I end up doing the makeover, I am going to be making a video out of that in my little craft area. And I call it my craft area because I don't have like a craft room. It's actually in my bedroom. So that's why I need it to be functional because it is a smaller space. So I know completely irrelevant information, but I don't know. I kind of like sitting on my floor. I'm actually like sitting in front of my house plants, which I can't believe are still alive by the way I just want to throw that out there but I don't know I kind of like sitting here on the floor and talking um, it makes me feel like I'm not just talking to the camera like you guys are actually here if that makes sense it just feels more personal so I don't know I might do this more often so this week's haul is not as big as my normal hauls but the exciting thing is is I found a bunch of new items from name brands that I think I've seen at like Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling. Let's get into my favorite finds of this haul. These marquee letters and symbols. And these are by Heidi Swap. And I believe she is like a scrapbooking um, website or designer. I looked on the on her website and these light up marquee letters and symbols are $14.99 still on her website. And they have larger ones and I believe those ones are $19.99. But I thought this was crazy you guys when I saw these. And they light up. They do take, they do require two AAA batteries that are not included. But what's cool about these is that you can paint, tape, use paper or glitter to design them. So it looks like it just comes apart. So it comes with the string lights, it comes with the bulbs, and then it looks like a stencil. And so you can create your own. I did get the letter H because um, my last name starts with an H. I also found the hashtag or pound symbol and then I found an arrow these would make great gifts you could put these in a nursery or if you have uh, if you're also a content creator you could use it in your background I just think these are an amazing find for one dollar especially when they're fifteen dollars on her website that's crazy to me and I also wanted to mention that they also had numbers. When I went to my Dollar Tree, they were pretty picked through. So there were only a few letters left. And along with the hashtag sign, they also had the and symbol as well as numbers. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Also from the Heidi Swap line, I found these decorative tapes so these are also from the same line her the marquee love line so they had all different kinds of sizes and prints so these ones look like kind of like your standard washi tape size maybe a little bit bigger but the sparkly black and then white and then these rolls are this size. So they kind of look like the washi tape material. And I don't know, this one reminds me of like Christmas for some reason. You could use this one for Halloween. And even on the box, 
it shows on this box, it shows like this tape being used to decorate. So I thought that was really cool. And I found the the letters, the marquee letters in by the picture frames. And then I found the tape in like the crafting section where all of like the decorative ribbon is. So be on the lookout for those. I know not all Dollar Trees get um, the same things. I don't know if this is something we're gonna see um, from her. Maybe she made a deal with Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but that that's super exciting. I'm hopeful that we will see more stuff from her. These next items blew me away. Um, and they are these chalkboard stickers. Now these are not by Jot. They're not by, uh, what's that other brand? Crafter Square, nothing. This is actually by the brand K and Company, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like this is a Hobby Lobby brand or a brand that's in Hobby Lobby or maybe something that you have to order online kind of or a catalog. I know I have some of this brand in my scrapbooking collection that a friend had um, gifted to me. So I just thought these were so amazing. Look at the things that you can do. Look at the sign as an example. You get 194 stickers in here and even little swirlies and dots to make signs. And look at, it just looks so perfect to make your own chalkboard sign if you don't wanna mess around with trying to hand, do it by hand yourself, even comes with words. So I thought that was really neat. So I actually picked up two of the black ones and then I found one in gold. And I didn't find these in the sticker section or the crafter square section or the stationery. I found these randomly on an end, end cap kind of, or a clip strip by the cards. So make sure when you're in Dollar Tree, you are checking all the end caps, all the aisles, all the little clip strips, because sometimes Dollar Tree likes to put things and hide all of the good stuff in like random locations. Also on that same clip strip that I found the chalkboard letters, I found another Heidi Swap item. And these are vintage looking stickers that you could use as labels or use in your journals. I just love how these look. These would look perfect in my junk journals. And then I found some more K and Company items. I found this really pretty glittery like embossed stickers with swirls, kind of like scrolls. This is the only color that I saw. And then I found some scrapbooking trim in the Halloween and a the Halloween theme. And it looks like these are adhesive. So you get all of these different designs. Actually, let me pull them out and show you guys what you get in here. Okay, so look at all of these fun little trims that you can get. I just thought, this is a dollar. I can't believe. And again, I think this brand is either Hobby Lobby or something that you have to order online. I know I have some in my scrapbooking collection, like I said, that was gifted to me, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this brand at Hobby Lobby, so I thought that was really neat. And then also by k and Company, I found these accents or like um, embellishments, so perfect for your scrapbooks or journals, planners, what have you. So there's that. All right, you guys, so this next item, I actually passed up the first time I saw it, which was, I think, last week. And I went home and I thought about it, and I was like, why did I do that? I need that. I need a lot of those. And that is this self-adhesive subway tile. It looks real. I'm just gonna point that out. It looks real. 
And so I got four sheets. When I went last week, there was a huge stack of them and I can't believe I passed them up because I've been trying to convince my husband that I wanna put this kind of tile as our backsplash in our kitchen, just to brighten things up. Uh, what we currently have um, in our kitchen, the counters and the backsplash are the same. And it's kind of like this brown, brown granite. And I just kind of want to add a little bit more brightness. And he's like, no, that would look horrible. So I thought I would kind of test it out and see how it, it would look with these before we commit to redoing our backsplash. But you guys, this is a dollar. I can't believe this. And it is raised. It looks real. So, and they line up perfectly. I'm doing a horrible job of showing you guys. But that is crazy to me. And so yeah, in, even if you don't want to use these, because it does show you, like, it's using it as an example of backsplash in the picture. But you could do a lot of different things with this. And I also thought about... Um, maybe putting these on a poster board and using it kind of like as a background when I take pictures, my thumbnail pictures, when I take Instagram pictures. So if you're a content creator or if you have an Instagram, you could also do something like that. If you take food photos and just need a nice background um, to film, you could. those would be perfect for that. All right, this next item is pretty random, but I needed it because my son is actually being promoted into middle school. So I am going to be decorating our vehicle. Um, this is like one of those um, window, like almost like a bingo bopper. <laughs> Not a bingo bopper, a bingo dauber. <laughs> Why did it say bingo bopper? Okay, so anyways, this is just you write on your car with it. So I only saw white. I wish they had other colors at my Dollar Tree, but he's having a fifth grade kind of drive through promotion. So I'm going to be decorating our vehicle for that. All right, so now on to the crafters square section. I picked up a bunch of these pony beads. I bought them in gold, the multicolor and silver. And it says you get approximately 150 in there. And along with those beads, I picked up this stretch cording. And you get about five yards per color. So my daughter can make some cool bracelets. And I also found these alphabet plastic beads. And I'm actually, my daughter's going to be making her little, I'm gonna make some bracelets with her, like those little friendship bracelets. But I'm also going to be using these to make little tassels and book bling for my journals. So I picked up those, those are a great value. I also found these really cute gems. So we have some hearts in there. And then these butterflies. So, and I like that it comes with a, the pouch, it reseals. So you don't even have to put it in another container. So I thought that was really neat. She can make something cool with that. I found this glittery poster paint for her to paint something. She loves arts and crafts, so I picked that up for her. And then I found a new tool. This is a piercing and scoring tool set by Crafter Square as well. So I think I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to be making a, a junk journal with only Dollar Tree supplies. I don't know when that video is going to come out, but I'm kind of gathering things for that. Um, I have a few junk journal videos on my channel already. If you've never heard of it or you're interested, um, go check out my junk journal playlist. Um, but a lot of people have been requesting that I show Dollar Tree supplies for my junk journals or, um, you know, what do I need to get started and things like that. So I think I'm going to be putting together a video for that. So that's why I picked that up because I think this little tool would be useful. On to the cleaning section. I picked up two of these Lysol toilet bowl cleaners in these super duper cute mini sizes, which are perfect to put in my two bathrooms. Usually I buy this at Walmart, but I don't go to Walmart 
um, unless I'm going for specific things. So if I can find it at the Dollar Tree, I'll get it there. I also found these really neat sponges. These have this groove in the top of them and it says it's for nail guard sponges. So side grooves protect nails against scratches. So you just put your fingers in that groove. But when I saw this, I thought of cleaning the tracks on my windowsills. So that's what I'm going to be doing because I've seen hacks to where you would mark, take a Sharpie and um, align your window track or whatever, and then cut it out. But this is already done for you. So it would just be super easy to slide this across those really hard to clean areas on your windowsill. So I thought those would come in handy. All right, and the last few items are from the health and beauty section. I found some new face washes or acne scrubs. So I found three different ones. This one is a foaming acne scrub, which I've actually used a few times and it doesn't foam like it says it actually gets kind of clumpy and gel like but it does smell really good it hasn't broke my skin out and it has like those little micro beads in there which is which is quite nice to be honest so but I really enjoy the smell of it it smells just like that grapefruit acne scrub I think by Neutrogena and then this one and this one I have yet to try the apricot scrub and then the deep acne charcoal scrub. And this, these, this packaging looks like Biore a little bit. Oh, and it says compared to active ingredients in Biore. How funny. And then this one kind of looks similar to um, the St. Ives apricot scrub. So I'm excited to try those out. Next, I picked up this Brightening Cucumber Peel Off Face Mask by Freeman. I haven't tried this out yet, but I love the peel off masks. And I think it's because whenever I get a sunburn, <laughs> this is so gross. Whenever I get a sunburn, I like peeling the skin. I know that's super gross and kind of weird, but I know a lot of people are like that. So yeah, I like the peel off face mask. So I went kind of crazy on some face masks. So I found these two bubble face masks. And I love the bubble face masks. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It makes it actually tickle and they're kind of fun to use. I have tried this one before. I don't know where I got it, but I did try this one specifically and I loved it. So when I saw it at the Dollar Tree, I grabbed it and then this one is the charcoal face mask and it says it has with activating charcoal and infused with hyaluronic acid and retinol. And then this one it has earth clay, vitamin C, vitamin E, use a lemon. It's that's funny. Use a lemon. And yeah, so I got those face masks. I also found the Freeman brand paper masks, paper sheet masks, and there's two in there with a resealable bag and grapefruit. And these masks are not for your face, but they're for your feet and hands. So it looks like you just put your hands and feet in a little baggie and wait for a miracle to happen. And then these next two masks are also peel off, but they're really cool looking. They're kind of metallic with, with glitter. Oh no. Never mind. That might not be a good idea. I hope it doesn't leave like glitter flex on my face. That would be horrible. But I don't know. The packaging honestly got me. And then the last two things I got I found these iPads. I think you get 12 in here. And I've always wanted to do that whole spa day thing with the cucumbers on your eyes. And I've actually never been to a spa in my life. But I thought I would, that's why I got all of these masks and everything. Because I thought I would do that at home and kind of pamper myself. So I got those. 
And then the very last item I picked up was this men's loofah. And I don't know, I, when I saw it, I'd never seen um, this kind before with this really thick elastic strap. And when I touched it, it's really soft. It's not like what you usually get at Dollar Tree with the super scratchy loofahs that fall apart in like after one use. So this is, it's really nice. It's really soft. I should have picked up more. But anyways, this is by Assured for Men. All right, guys. Well, that completes this week's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments down below what was your favorite find from this week. I am so excited about those marquee letters. And the I think I'm more excited about the K&S brand and then stickers than I am about um, those marquee letters. But let me, know, let me know down below what was your favorite find from this week. And subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of my videos in the future. And until my next one, I hope you guys have an amazing week and stay awesome. Bye.